So, to test this USB hub I just unboxed, it is USB Type-C like I explained before. It even says it on the little hub, USB Type-C. We're going to connect it to a modern smartphone, such as the Galaxy S8. And we're going to test some peripherals and how the peripherals will extend with the USB Type-C port. Can we successfully plug in multiple peripherals and use them in the Galaxy S8 as it were a laptop or a desktop? Let's find out. This design, though a little bit more friendly than the included USB-C to USB adapter included with your Samsung Galaxy S8, is uh, this design is a little bit more friendly with the phone. Though, it does require a tiny little bit of push with the case. Um, I meant to say it was more friendly with the case and not with the phone. Obviously, the one that came from Samsung is very friendly with the phone, as is this one, but it's not too friendly with the case because of the other one's smaller, bulkier design. Because it's a little bit bulky because it's just a little piece and not a whole strip with a wire. So let's go get a keyboard and connect it to this and see how it works. I have connected a keyboard and a mouse to this phone before. Not at the same time, of course, because there's no option for that at the same time. We're also going to connect a little soundbar and see again how it works. Let's get started. So I couldn't find my USB mouse for some reason. I haven't been using it too often since I switched over to a Mac. But I do have this nice lovely keyboard that we will be using to test this cable. I also have this beautiful $9 uh, sound bar which can separate into two little pieces if you wanted to. Okay, it's normal price is like $45. It is crap for $45, but it is a great value for $9. I would not recommend it at the $45 price, but I would recommend it at the $9 price. And to bring in our other two USB ports, we have flash drives, which I've never actually used with the phone. I'm not even sure flash drives can connect to this phone, but we will test that out. So we're going to first plug in the keyboard, which I've known because I've used the keyboard with the phone. We used a mouse with the phone too. We're going to check this out, and we're going to put these in. So let's get started. I didn't end up finding that mouse I was looking for. Uh, who would have ever thought it would be in my computer bag? Right? No one thought that. I did decide to use a de stocking mouse that came with this keyboard over a gaming mouse because I thought that might take a little bit too much power um, from the phone. So, we're going to plug this one in. I have used a gaming mouse solely without anything else plugged in on this phone before. And it works. And the lights light up and everything. But let's just try this. We got everything else connected up now because the flash drives. Uh, obviously, we can just connect one flash drive because we're connecting a mouse to it. But we're going to check if this works. It should. Um, also, another option to do all of this would be connect to Samsung DeX. Um, basically, a Samsung DeX would be this little uh, round platform, kind of like a wireless charging pad, but a lot different. You pop your phone onto it, um, and then it has all ports in the back, such as those, which you can then plug keyboards and mice in, and then you connect that DeX, uh, the actual DeX device to a TV via HDMI, and you have yourself a monitor. Of course, you can always do a USB to HDMI plug here. And get yourself a monitor that way too. So if you want to plug this into a monitor and make your own makeshift decks with this, you could do that instead of paying the decks $129 price point. So now that we have all of our stuff set up so that we can use this phone and even have the box from our nifty little gadget over here plugged in, I mean, uh, hooked up to the back of the phone, so it has a little nice stand. All the cables are also behind the box, so it kind of makes a little bit more nice cable management, even though they're all shoved back there. They're not really tied up or anything. So this is our little mini desktop setup. The mouse is cut off, but it is over here. I am using it. In fact, we will push this over a bit to get that mouse in there, so you guys can see I am using it. So I'll just push it over a bit. So you guys can see I am using a mouse also. So let's get into the phone and trust our first test. Can I log in? Nope. So you can't log in using the mouse or this thing. I just have Face ID today with this, um, well not Face ID, but 
uh, the facial recognition. I'm actually going to take it off because I don't like it. Obviously, you know, with this face recognition, you can take a picture and put it up and it will still work. It's not as, um, as good as Apple's facial recognition uh, with their face ID. But I was testing it out today for different things. So I do uh, like the iris recognition, though. Okay, now that I'm on my home screen, you guys can still not see... Oh! Okay, that makes sense. So I have to actually turn on each one of these things. I thought if they were up, they were all on, and like if I press them down, they're off. But actually, I have to turn on each of them. And now, off, off. I hope I didn't just fry the port, guys. I don't think I fried the port, but it did pop up with the Samsung Dex gives you, because I think that was actually the uh, crackling of these um, speakers. They make that sound, too. Just forgot about that. Um, so Samsung Dex gives you a full experience of a monitor on your TV or um, desktop, uh, TV or monitor. So it's kind of crazy. <coughs> the guys, I play. Yeah, so that's the speakers. So it actually is picking this up as if it were Samsung Dex, and that's what it's picking this up as. So it thinks, the phone thinks that we're using Samsung Dex right now, because it did give us a Samsung Dex pop-up message. Which, when you think about it, is crazy. And if you see, this works. To control our phone. Oh, I can't see the maps. So after playing around with it for a while, I didn't want to bore you with the entire video of me just scrolling around the phone. But after playing around with it a while, it does work just like if I were to connect to the Samsung Dex. Except Samsung Dex would give me a desktop experience, and this does obviously give me my phone experience. It does work, and it is really uh, does really work. I have a 2.0 video coming soon. Actually, I completely redesigned it now. Uh, I have a redesigned thing. I might put the monitor into the 2.0 version. I'm not sure. But anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Again, I didn't want to bore you with a 30 minute video because that's how actually long this is. Uh, right now, it's like seven minutes ish. It might go up to eight, but um, I don't want to bore you with a really long video. That's why I cut it off here. You can obviously see me typing and stuff. But anyway, guys, thanks for watching more videos on the way. If you want to see that 2.0, just press that subscribe button and press the little bell button right next to the subscribe button so you get notifications of when the, the fake makeshift Samsung Dex 2 video comes out. I'm not sure I'm going to call it yet, but whatever we call it, that's what's going to be coming out soon. So don't hesitate to press that button. Thanks guys for watching. Uh, more videos on the way. I'm not sure how.